Hey, it's Sam Crowley. Welcome to this quick speaker tip. Uh, you know, it's funny. I look at this slide and I'm not, trust me, don't look at this slide and think, oh my God, is this guy just going to talk about himself? No, not at all. <laughs> I just actually, it's the opposite of that. It's the opposite. I want to share with you what not to do when you become a speaker. Look, speaking has blessed my life in ways I never even imagined. And some of these photos here, yes, of me uh, speaking with the likes of Bob Proctor, Mari Smith over here, Robert Kiyosaki, Les Brown, Janet Atwood down here, John Astroff, and a host of others. And as an ex-stutter, you know, someone who, could, who really didn't know how to speak at all, it's amazing, and I pinch myself all the time. Um, enough about me. Why do you want to speak? That's an important question. Why do you want to share a message? I know you have a message. Do you know you have a message? And here's what's easy to understand. Your message is not something that needs to be, oh my God, it's never been told before. I need to think of something that's never been said. Not true. Not true. Your message is your life experience. It's what people have been telling you over and over again for the past five years, 15 years, maybe 30 or 40 years, depending how old you are. Wow, you're really blessed in that respect. I mean, you really have a knack for that. What is it? Just take inventory of your life. Don't make it difficult. What a lot of people do, especially speakers who struggle with what is my message going to be about, they spend so much time trying to think and create and something unique that's never been talked about. That's not necessary. If that were the case, I would never be speaking about entrepreneurial training or podcasting or training speakers, for example. You know, and all of these speakers here, look, Bob Proctor up here in the upper right-hand corner, I shared the stage. This is a photo from 2012 when we spoke together in Hawaii. Bob started studying a book called Think and Grow Rich in the early 1960s, and it's 2016 now. Uh, all Bob has done, and I'm by no way say that to minimize all he's done, but what Bob has done is taken chapters of that book and become the subject matter expert on Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich. That's a lot of what he talks about, and the courses that he sells and the coaching that he offers is all about that, as well as the law of attraction, other items that have been talked about for a long, long time, but Bob puts it in his own message. Uh, Mari Smith is a Facebook uh, ninja, I mean, one of the top thought leaders in that space. How many people do you know train and talk about Facebook? Hundreds, I'm sure. Your inbox is probably bombarded with that. However, Mari teaches her own way about it. Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he's not the only person to write a book on how to become rich, how to become successful, how to become an entrepreneur, but he did it in a very unique way, way telling the story about two dads. One of them was an employee, one of them was an entrepreneur. John Asroff, again, another individual who's talked about uh, the law of attraction, the secret. Now he's trains the brain. I mean, he does a lot of brain training, neuro type of programming. Look, not the only one to do it, but boy, he does it in his niche. And I, you know, all of these speakers, Janet Atwood, Les Brown, look, Les is, you got to be hungry. Tells a story, makes his story a unique, fun, entertaining, very easy to follow story about, look, Les Brown was known as the DT, the dumb twin. His brother Wesley was known as the smart twin. Les Brown was deemed to be educably retarded in the fifth grade. I mean, come on. This is, these are labels placed on an individual who basically would have been given no chance had he not stuck with it and, uh, and just done just an amazing job. And as I look at these photos, they're here. They inspire me. I want them to inspire you. Here's my speaker tip. Find a message. Within, look, find the message within the mess. <laughs> Life can be tricky sometimes. You ever tripped up? You ever failed? Maybe a couple hundred thousand times? All told, did you find a way to succeed? Just a little bit. Not to become at the top of your game. Just a little bit. All right? A little bit. What was that? How did you do it? Take inventory of that and train other people on how to do that. And speak. Here's the one thing I know. When you get good at speaking and you practice and repetition decreases resistance. Okay? Repetition decreases resistance. What does that mean? Speak all the time. Speak in your living room, when you're vacuuming the floor, when you're doing the dishes, when you're on a run and you're at the treadmill or you're at work. Just start talking out loud about this message that you want to share. So when you do go to share it on your stage and other stages that you'll be invited to speak on, it becomes so natural. It's an extension of who you are. That's how you easily share a message. If you'd like to learn more about how to become a great speaker and earn literally, and I'm, this isn't any, you know, not blowing smoke, five to six figures from the platform, speaking, becoming a six-figure speaker, head on over to Speaker Successful, join the thousands who have gone through that training as well. 
on their way to just an amazing career. Speakersuccessful.com. If I can help you out at all with any other facets of your Everyday is Saturday journey, just email me, sam at everydayisaturday.com. Have the best day ever.